idea was to build a sustainable pilot as a proof of concept in Egypt that would be 100% sourced from the Egyptian markets so that we do not have to depend heavily on imports from abroad. The decision came through natural events. I was here at the start of the uh, January 25th uh, revolution on holiday, not intending to uh, return to living in Egypt. Through that experience, uh, which was a, a truly uh, a beautiful and, and very uh, natural, organic uh, experience that came through the people of Egypt from all economic and social backgrounds, I decided that this is the ideal time to return to Egypt uh, with the experience that I have and a new idea and sort of following uh, the philosophy of uh, do not ask what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country. We actually use Egyptian manufactured products uh, which I would say is over 80, 85 percent of our entire build in uh, Bustan Aquaponics is not just sourced from Egypt, but is, it is manufactured by Egyptian companies. Currently, the systems over the last 50 years in Egypt that have been used in agriculture have been very destructive to our agricultural land, to the quality of the food that we eat, and therefore impacting the health of the nation. There are maybe two or three goals for Bustem. The primary one is to be able to produce high quality vegetables and fish very efficiently in terms of water usage and land usage, while also uh, bringing in new forms of technology that will allow us to contribute to the food requirements of the country without uh, harming the environment while being efficient uh, in terms of our use of resources uh, which are highly limited here in Egypt. The way it works is that we have fish tanks, uh, we feed the fish, we filter out all undissolved solids, that water then is high in a substance called ammonia which by its nature is toxic to both plants and chemicals, but in different forms it is uh, plant food. So we have a very simple pro uh, process of what's called nitrification, where we have naturally occurring bacteria uh, that is absolutely harmless to, to humans that take this ammonia, break it down, give us a product called nitrate, which is the primary building block for any plant growing and removes the ammonia from the water so that we can return all of that water back to the fish without losing any uh, water, or without having to exchange water. And in that case, it gives us a very efficient system where the plants and the fish take care of each other. Realistically, at this point in time, at, the, at this stage in the development of these agriculture, these modern agricultural systems, I would say that it would not have a direct effect on the mass population in terms of the food produced. The true benefits will come in the research and development that we produce from here, which we share regularly with all sorts of NGOs and other institutions, in order to, over time, be able to expand these systems uh, on a far larger scale. Uh, I think there is definitely a much, a very fast growing segment in uh, cleaner, healthier food. Um, and this is the future. I mean, Egypt's future has to be a more efficient use of the very limited resources that we have in order to better feed a growing population.